Load the datum example file example data.tdm in order to follow this tutorial. Activate the analysis panel. Launch the calculation manager by either using the menu option file calculation manager or clicking on the calculation manager icon. Create a new calculation group by clicking on the Add Calculation Group toolbar button. Name the calculation group Power and click the OK button. Click on the dialog toolbar Add Calculation. The dialog calculation manager, Add Calculation, will appear. Two buttons are at the top, Calculation and Script. Click the Calculation button at the top. Assign a name to the calculation as Power. Set the formula as shown. Make sure the quantity base checkbox is checked, and then to the right of that at result unit, click on the dot 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 button and find the quantity of power and assign the value of kilowatts. Note that the formula does not contain any constants for unit conversion. This is because the quantity base checkbox is selected and a target final unit of kilowatts was assigned. The conversions required to convert torque in newton meters and speed in rotations per minute to kilowatts is automatically figured out by datum. However, if the torque or RPM channel didn't have units, then this option would generate an error and it would be necessary to input the unit conversions, as was case when using the calculator. Click on the toolbar Run button to execute the calculation. Observe that the Power Kilowatts channel is created in the data portal. Click the OK button to close the Calculation Major, Edit Calculation dialog. In order to demonstrate a sequence of calculations, we will add one more calculation that will convert power and speed, RPM, back to torque. Click the Add Calculation button, assign a name of torque newton meters, enter the formula as shown, check the checkbox Quantity Based, and set the result unit to newton meters by looking under Quantity equals Torque and selecting newton meters. Click the Run button at the top right toolbar to see the result. Click the OK button to close the Calculation Manager, Add Calculation dialog. With the Calculation Manger dialog still visible, click the Save button on the toolbar and give it the name PowerTorque.tca, taking note where the file was saved. Click the OK button to close the dialog. In the data portal, select the Power Kilowatts and Torque Newton Meters channels, and then click the keyboard key Delete to delete those two channels, or right click and choose Delete. Click on the Analysis Toolbar button, Execute Calculations button. Select the first row labeled Power. In the Calculation column it shows, 2 Calculation S. Click on the Toolbar button, Run. Observe that both calculations run. First the Power Kilowatts channel is created, and then it is followed by the Torque Newton Meters calculation. As demonstrated, you can sequence a series of calculations where one depends on the result of a prior calculation to generate a new output. This is a powerful no-script method of automating calculations. 